Well, that didn't go the way that we were looking for it to go. Nothing like getting the blood flowing on a Tuesday morning, waking up and seeing that you went a crisp 0-4 the previous day. No words, gonna happen from time to time, but really not fun to see happen. So now we're back. It's Tuesday, August 15th. We're talking prize picks picks. I got four more plays for today, so hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and follow me on Twitter. This is the only way that we could redeem ourselves. If we're 0 4 yesterday, it can't get any worse. But first, sign up for the Odd Shopper Pick'em Package. Uh, I think that would be the best thing that you can do right now. If you're watching this video, you clearly like prize picks, and I'm assuming you're gonna like other pick'em sites. Prize picks, underdog, jock market for now, adding more sites as we move. Weekly package. $13.95 using the promo code welcome. You see it on the screen. Or go for the month, same discount. 70% off with the promo code welcome. You're gonna pay $45 for the month. If you're looking to get more action at Prize Picks, Underdog, Jock Market, if you're looking to get more action at these Pick'em sites, Odd Shopper Pick'em is what you're looking for. First up for today, the first of two Cubs. We're going to Nico Herner. Now, the Cubbies are taking on the White Sox. We're in Chicago, obviously, but we're in Wrigley. Tuki Toussaint is on the hill. Not great, if we're being honest. 4.8 projected FIP. Righty, righty spot here for Herner. He's fine. League average-ish hitter. Not a lot of pop. Line set at eight, and that's sort of the weird piece of this for me. 60% of the time, he's going to go less than. It's only a 4.8 run implied total here for Herner against Tuki Toussaint. That lets you know what this actually looks like because Toussaint is a guy that should have a much higher run total attached to his opponent. And because of that run environment, we're also going to Cody Bellinger. Lucky for us, we're not just getting him in a lefty-lefty matchup that he will inevitably beat us in. Line set at eight. 59% of the time, he's going to go less than. Same matchup, same everything. Tuki Toussaint, home game, 4.8 run implied total. I feel like I haven't gotten Bellinger right in ages but I've been attacking all of these lefty-lefty matchups. That hasn't been the case so, for me so far. So we're going with Nico Herner. We're gonna go less than on Cody Bellinger. Maybe we wanna look into taking a play on a positive side for Tuki Toussaint. We're not doing it in this video, but if you're trying to play the correlation game, that's a direction you might wanna go. Next up, we're looking at Carlos Correa. The Twins are taking on the Tigers. Alex Fado on the hill for Detroit. Projects a little bit better than Tuki Toussaint, at least. It's righty-righty for Correa. It's only a 4.9 run implied total here for Minnesota against Fado. So it's not like the craziest line in the world. Correa projects for a 335 Woba in this spot. Line is set at 7.5. I think 60% of the time he goes less than. I do have him projected for 8, but we've got to remember, this is not a normal distribution for baseball. We're skewing big time in the right direction. So I'm not a huge fan of Correa for today. I think Fado can limit him enough. I don't like the way that that sounds, but it doesn't make it any less true. We got to rely on the data. Data says less than. And finally, we are closing this one out with Anthony Santander. The Orioles taking on the Padres. Michael Waka on the hill for the pods. 4.6 projected fit for Waka. Not ideal. It's going to be lefty righty for Santander, but... Here's the big piece. This is the key takeaway of everything. 3.7 run implied total today for the Baltimore Orioles. Not good. Line set at six and a half for Santander. And I know people are gonna think that's too low, but I don't really care what the line is set at. All I care about are the odds. 59% of the time, Santander is coming in less than We haven't really talked about Anthony Santander in this video in a very long time, but today we're cheering against him. There we go, folks. Picks are in. Herner, less. Bellinger, less. Correa, less. Santander, less. It has to get better than it did yesterday. Come join me for the rebound. That's what's going to happen here today. Three and one at a minimum. Minimum. Four and oh. That's what we're hoping for. I can't even talk. I'm too excited. I want to get away from yesterday and get into today. I got a great night's sleep. I'm going to channel all of that energy to picking up the dub. And I hit my microphone. <laughs>